Hey, what is up, y'all? It's your Dr. Tony Duran here, and in this episode series, I want to be helping people out with their real life problems or problems in general that they're needing advice for. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. This comes from the username of Mod Recontroller, and he asks, Hey, Tony, I'm a 13 year old, and there is two girls in my school that I like. They are both pretty hot and friendly, so I don't know which one I should go out with. The other problem is they are both in my class, and if I choose one, the other one won't like me anymore. To top it all off, they both asked me out at the same time on our way home. Any advice would be really helpful. All right. What you need to do is since you both you like them both, and they're both pretty good looking, and they kind of both ask you out at the same time, and they're in your class to top it all off, what you need to do is get to know both of these girls. See what they like. Compare what y'all get along with. Say she likes this type of music but you don't like this type of music say this one likes playing video games but the other one doesn't you need to figure out which one is more compatible for you what i mean by that is which one you would be more likely to have an awesome conversation with and the other one to not have a good conversation where it just ends in five minutes from when it had started so you need to find somebody that you can also have a good conversation with and also have a good time with so get to know these girls figure out what they like and don't like because one of them might not even like video games but you love video games and the other one might like video games but doesn't like a certain type of music that you may listen to but figure all that out and also make sure that these girls aren't like bad girls because if they're good looking then obviously they can take advantage of their looks and end up getting a word around school of being just kind of like a hoe or slut so don't date anybody that puts themselves off as that because by dating a girl that is like that it makes you look bad and other girls down the line remember stuff like that like he dated this girl like a week or a month ago and she was just nasty she, i know she dated my ex-boyfriend before and it may be a girl you like at the time and then she's like no nah, i don't want to date you because you dated her of some sort but anyway a lot of stuff like that you gotta take chance with you know make sure you get to know the person you're going up going out with that you like that's the one big thing it's kind of like marriage almost you want to get to know that person for years on years on years before you actually just jump into a marriage because most people mess up by just doing stuff and not getting to know their partner but anyway let's get to the next question and this question he asks Dills I, I don't even know your name it's, it looks like Dills Doe it's like dildo I'm not even gonna lie to you but anyway he asked hey Tony I just got a capture card and I want to start working on videos and doing commentaries uh, on Battlefield 3 and I know Battlefield 3 games are long so any advice on what I should do all right what you need to do for this is if you don't if you're not premium where you have close quarters like I'm doing right now to keep everything good entertained uh, to basically get on a map that's pretty small that's entertaining or get a gameplay that is really good that it doesn't lag entertainment where it's not you just running around endless so find like Grand Bazaar get some like good close quarter action going in where it doesn't lag the feeling of boringness and also have something like have some good content that you're going to be talking about to also uh, juice it up a little but anyway let's go on to the next problem and this problem is anonymous the person does not want their name said but this is what they asked hey Tony I'm having a problem with my parents where they won't let me play the game much because they're thinking I'm not doing my school homework what should I do all right one do you ever bring any homework home because I know I had problems with that when I was little like they would be like Tony where's your homework you can't get on the game until I see some type of homework that you're doing what I would do is even if I would do the homework at school I would bring it home show them you need to show them that hey look I got my work done that uh, this is all we had to do show them some kind of like list that a teacher gave you showing the homework for the week that you actually completed it so your parents know hey he's actually doing his homework so I shouldn't have any complaints from the teacher at all so they will actually let you be able to play the game longer or let you play it when you want to so I hope this advice helps you out and I hope the advice that I gave out to everybody else helps them out I hope the kid that uh, had the problem 
with the girls i hope he gets it straightened out and ends up dating the girl that he really likes but anyway guys if you have any problems that you need help with or advice for make sure to send it in a private message to me so in the next video's uh episode of tony dr tony duran i can help you and answer them for you so make sure to suggest it there and um I want to know in the comment section below how often I should upload these videos once a week, twice a week. Just let me know there, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, y'all. Peace out.